He's gonna call the game. I'll try to find one for you another time, okay? Okay. He's winning. It's one to nothing. The red team. The red and white team. The white team. Where's it going? Three zero. One thing is, I've never actually called a game. But I've only watched. Like, all right. Well, have like fun. <laughs> have a lot of fun. Kaplan. Three and one, here comes the pitch. Oh, oh, right. Full count. Full count, Geraldo Kaplan here. Two outs. Two outs. And he gets to take the base. Looks like we just killed it. How was that out, Nate? Oh, it was a 1-3. And that well done in the first. But in the inning, one, one run on a big salami home run. Don't talk about salami, I'm hungry. There's a feet over there. <laughs> this is Ben Graff, the future of the CTA Lions, who scored five goals in the soccer game today. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. The problem right now is. You know, I used to play baseball out here in the. And at this point, you like baseball a lot Those were airheads. If you chase foul balls, you get airheads. Somebody going after that ball, dude? Crazy thing is, I still remember running. You remember playing? I remember playing out here at the JCC Fields way back. We were on the same team, remember? Oh man, I I can't remember back that far. Oh yeah, we were on the same team. I remember being I, I remember the, the red shirts. It's about you were on like, red shirts with Dinkin? Yeah. I was on Danny Newman's team. I I was the black team. I was on the red team and I remember getting hit in the head with the ball. That's the sort of thing Those you Those you don't forget. Yeah. It was about uh I was about 11, 12 years old when I had that happen. Retired shortly after oh, that. Oh really? Yeah. 
Well, you, you don't really forget when you get hit in the head with the ball. Yeah, sort of that, thing. that'll do it. Yeah. Where'd you get the Lee Shriver, the yeah. actor, coming to play. Like a dollar. Can you just give me a turn? Is that what they are, a dollar? I think so. Let's go get <laughs> Best known for Ray, watch Ray Donovan, and the what, what was that? Uh, the uh, Resistance Fighters, the uh, the Resistance, the Borowski brothers. You know what I'm talking about? The Borowski brothers. The Borowski brothers. Schreiber's up to take it. See if he can get something going here at the top, bottom of the one. Bottom of the first inning? Ida Crown, bottom of the first. Number 27. 27 at the play. Leave Schreiber. Oh, the, oh missed, that, missed the plate by a mile. That's definitely not going to get him any... Uh, any trophies for our, oh, a little high. Just getting used to the strikes there near it. The leadoff batter here in the bottom of the first. The Ida Crown Aces. I wonder if maybe the sun's too much in his eyes. Maybe we should give him your sunglasses. Oh, there's a ground ball to the shortstop. Plays on the and, line. oh, he's, he's out of there. Number 17. Oh, he gets a hold of that. Whoa. He did not catch it. Oh. Almost made a good play out there. Got one man on, one out. Oh, no, no rain. We're not allowed to have any rain no this afternoon. Rain until this game is in the book. Hank Greenberg is at the plate. Number 18. How's I know he I'm gotten? just making up the first name, sorry. <laughs> How's he, yeah, what's, he got, he what's he got on board for? Do you know who Hank Greenberg was? Is, was <laughs> How's he been doing for the series? He's for the game. I don't, how do I know? This is his first event. <laughs> He put it on there to look into it because of the sun. Yeah, we don't have anything Omnir to prove. Greenberg, this thing. I was correct, but it's not Hank Greenberg, the former Major League Baseball player. Oh, he's going on a hit and run, and it's not out of bounds. Oh, that one's out of bounds. Nope. <laughs> yes, and it is the one count here on Greenberg. Man on first base. One out. Came in on, one out. Oh. oh, he looks over to first. Oh, he's going to take second. Is he going to go for two? Oh. Oh. One man in scoring position, not. Costly, costly attempt at first base. Put the runner in scoring position because it was that. You got two bases on an overthrow. Because it was on the overthrow. Open the stance, pitch on the way. That's a strike on the outside corner. Two on. Yeah, two on the way. That's. Just a bit outside. There's a ball. One and two. Oh. 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 
That one is. That's a foul ball. He is taking advantage of every pitch here on this. That is a mouthful, Big Adali Greenberg. Big Adali Greenberg. Oh my, we've got one in. Are we going for two? Literally, he up the game one to one. Can you hear yourself in the mic? In the, uh, I cannot hear a thing. Can you hear anything? Nope, I cannot hear a thing. Maybe if I. you hear anything now? I mean, I don't know if you can hear anything. We're not sure. Shades of gray here. That might just be a race in the hole. <laughs> did that roll underneath? No, it went over on the fly. Did it? Yeah, it did. Oh. And then it rolled to the house afterwards. What happened? Did he miss the base? I touched it. There's a Oh, we, we can play it back on you. No, I, he didn't miss the base. Did he call him out? On the home run. What happened? You have to round it on the home run? You have to, you have to run it on the home run? The first guy never touched home. They appealed home. Oh, really? You never yeah. touched home? He know. stepped over the top of home. There's so he's two. Right, so they got two then. Oh, wow. Wow, well, well, we have our first anniversary here. Is there a replay or is it a live feed? It looks feed? to me like they're recorded. Right on the play. Well, I've got a live feed that going, but. What? First guy jumped. I don't have any way to jump uh, one right now. Did he touch the point? The first guy, not the home run guy. Maybe I should, maybe I should get the camera out. And I don't know. Keep an eye on it. It's his rule. This is a missing one court. We have video evidence to the contrary in our throne. Don't we have video evidence that he did in touch? Indisputable evidence. So John Cooper, our stand in uh, John Cooper's me. If I wanted to get in and view the feed from here. Uh, I gotta tell you, on a home run, I would never be, even be looking at home plate like that because it's out of the yard. I didn't know they had to run. I actually didn't know they had to touch all the bases on a home run. Is that an LHSAA rule? It's a good question. On a home run, you have to? I know they can't. So there's no rule for it. 
He said he was watching it. It looks like his buddy said in the front corner, not touching the plate, and then he stepped over it. Yeah, he said he was, I mean, he said he was watching. Yeah, he definitely Even on a home run. Right, right. No, I understand, but, you know, in the, in the majors, you don't have to run that. In the majors, you don't have to run that. If we can go back later on, if it, if it turns out that we need to use the video review. I have. Like, I have. You have a picture of a touch in the I, place? I, I, I have what looks like. I mean, you have a picture? The still of the, of the whole thing looks like the touch in the place. Like, it, it's literally right you might wanna, I mean, if you have a picture of it, I'll take it's it now. It's like we're starting to get some raindrops yeah, out here. I'm not allowed to view it. Right. It's not a rule. It's not a Oh, it might be raining. Well, yeah, we may be getting rained out here. Probably, but I'm going to write it down here. Is that, you're the official, so I let you know that's okay? Yes, yeah, so I'm protesting the first inning. Out of home. Line drive down the third base line. Let's, he's going for two. And he's safe. Stand up double. Stand up double, yes, sir. You want to? How much are they? Do you have money? Where's your mom? What time is it? You're, you're supposed to have baseball practice at 5:30. You know that, right? In an hour? You're supposed to have baseball practice. Where's mommy at? Here, go get a hot dog. Are they really? Jeez. Giving out money, I see. Where's mommy? Go get a hot dog. You might have baseball practice. Did they get him? Did they catch him? No, oh, oh, he's. Goodness. Oh, they dropped the ball. He's safe. He overthrew it. All right. Got I'm glad you can one. see better than I can from you over got here. Lucky on that one. Got him caught in a pickle, but he got out of it. These guys are so loud. That is assuming it's not raining. Oh, okay. There's a foul ball. Duke Duke come in. Plate number 11. It'd be nice if they had their names. So it'd be Personal problem. It might be. Weinberger, they uh, recruited him from the Netherlands to play. They need to speed this up, otherwise, you're going to get rained out. No, no. We're good as long as there's no lightning. Yeah, well, we, don't, we need an umbrella for this computer. On the way outside there, go down to Oh! And that 
Seems like there's a warning here. Yeah, it's like a little bit. It's like a little controversy happening again out here. It's all for fun, guys. Inside. Where is she? Where is she? Steer egg. Where is she? Can she do one? Hello? And here comes the pitch. Oh, well, that's why. Oh, there. Brown ball. Yeah. Down the left field play. line. Well, oh, goodness. Ah. Sloppy. He has baseball in an hour, you know that, right? Yeah, he does. Oh, he has practice in an hour. You're not? Okay. Are we ready then? I guess I should have told Kevin Ryan. Uh, he probably thinks he has it. That was just about the game, and then I said they saw practice, and he said, yeah, he's going to thing out to everybody, but uh, still practice again. Getting a little windy out here. Too high. Yes, no, for sure they do have practice, 100%. I'm telling you right now. Well, I told him I thought he had practice in there. I didn't say anything. I said, where's your mom? So I think he was looking for you. Oh. I was looking for you, and I can't find you. He's out. Out in sack. Out in sack. I don't know where he is now. He's hungry. Well, I would say no. Comes the pitch. I don't know. Foul ball. Well, if I gotta wait and see if I can find him first. He's straight. He's out of there. This game just started, so I don't know. Ice should be over. Uh, over by the concession stand. I have no idea. Uh -huh. I'm doing my thing. Um, yeah, Bobby's with Sophie right now. And there's Ben. Here comes Ben with his hot dog. Go home if that's what you want to do. Oh, 
You just park anywhere. Bubby and Sophie are still here. Everybody hit! All right. Are you talking, Lee? Lee, you gotta talk. Do you want me to do this? You wanna take pictures? Let me see. How do you know if you can hear? They should have it set up so you can hear. How do I even know if this is working? Hey, Alec! Go over and ask the guy in the orange how you know if this is even working. All right, so Jose Schwartz is at the plate right now. We got a tie ball game. Ask him if he can hear anything in this mic. Ask him if he can hear anything in here. About the video, just tell us about the video. All right, Jose Schwartz takes the ball. All right, pitch on the way. Oh, he fouls that one back. Pitcher on pitcher, we're having a duel right here. Jose Schwartz. Southpaw, there's no signal? No. Tell him he's going to get hit with a ball, possibly. Then he won't be happy. Oh, just a bit inside. Good. Is this even working? I'm all hot. Should I hear myself in here? Why not? I could hear it on the other. That's what I liked about what I did all at. Do we even know if the sound's on? No, for us it is. For them, it's for, we can't hear. This is the playback. So how do you but know? The thing is, if you do the playback, they'll have a lot of loops. Like you'll hear the I'm just asking. Can they hear me? Am I talking? Sorry, I, I want to apologize if you can hear me talking, mumbling, bumbling, and stumbling here. Okay, here we go. Oh, he hits the gap kind of between first and second and is safe. Safe at one, the official ruler, we're looking out there and yes, he ruled it a hit. It's called Mr. Jag Wi-Fi. Stepping into the batter's box is Ellen Bernstein. Oh, he takes off on the first pitch ball and is safe at second base with a stolen base. Y'all done? Go put it in the trash can. He didn't call a balk, did he? he who called? Oh, they're calling for a balk? Hey, pipe down, Francis. That's not a balk. All right, Burstein, a man after my own heart at number 12. Pitch on the way, the runner's going, and a throw down to three, and he doesn't get it. Another stolen base. Oh, yeah, he dropped the ball. He dropped the ball. So Burstein is sitting in here with what, a 2-0 count, I believe. It's not on, is that what you We're on now? Can you hear sound? How can you check if you hear sound? All right, so here's Burstein stepping into the box. And the pitch, oh, high and inside. And he swings and misses for a strike. How is it on? Excellent, excellent. First in, what's the picture? Operating out of the stretch, man on third base, ball's on the way, yeah, he swings and he misses. It's two and two. He evens up the count. Sitting here with esteemed colleague, Lee Goodman, out of diamond two at the JCC. And the pitch on the way. Oh, he gets an outside call, and he is down looking. One out. And we have uh, Yonko Garland up there or something or other. We got Gar Garland Skewer. That is his whole name, Garland Stein. Multiple names. He have a oh, the catcher is called. Yeah, he needs a bigger shirt. It's Garland Stern. Garland Stern. No wonder it's hard to read. Jimmy Garland Stern. And the catcher is calling timeout, repositioning the outfielders. Almost like he has a scouting report on this guy. They bring the infield in. They're trying to protect against the run, perhaps. I don't understand it. But anyway, we're a 2 2 ball game in the top of the second inning. And we wait on the pitch, and here it comes. Oh, there's a strike swinging. 
You want to hit that thing to inning two? So it's uh, one and one. The runner's taking a lead at third. Pitcher's eyeing him, and the pitch on the way. Oh, a foul ball. Works at the one and two, Lee. What do you think of that? I think we really need to keep close watch in the third base. Third base, they're trying to set up some kind of play. A hit and run, perhaps. I got your ball right there. Let's see here. Well, I'll, oh, an airhead? Give him an airhead. Oh, he swings at a high one, and that is out of play. Out of play, and let's see, first bounce uh, on a windshield. Nothing broken, nothing gained. That's what I always say. Yes, have one. Fighting the one-two count here is Garland Stern, Jimmy. Jimmy Garland Stern played in the minor leagues out of Puerto Rico. He came up here after the hurricane. And, oh my goodness, he takes. He was all taking that one, too, and too. You're welcome. You're welcome, that's what I say. And the pitch, oh, outside. He works the count full, I believe. The mark's fine, just not a torn, we don't want torn skin. And here comes the pitch, full count. Man on third, one out. He's going up. Oh, it's a high fly ball on in the infield. Uh, short stops under it, and that'll be two. So we've got, we got Al Cohen up at the plate. Al Cohen, uh, we got uh, two outs, a guy on third, and uh, he looks at a ball. Even score here in the top of the second inning. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Uh-oh, we've got some chatter coming out of the box. Uh, they do a substitute runner. Number 14 is in for the Ida Crown, Ida Crown or Acers. Yes, sir. I have no idea who number 14 is. Let's see if we can take a look. Uh, CTA is playing. They're getting the field ready for CTA. They'll be on the other field. That is Vince Holman at, at third base now. Oh, there it is. They're playing another game. That's a high fly ball. That could take out a car. Oh no, it's just a little shy. Albert Cohn is really fighting this one off. And all you people out listening are like, that is not my son's name. That's because we don't know their first name. So we're just gonna make them up as we go. Outside, there's another ball. That one got a little close for comfort. <laughs> Looking, the pitch on the way. Oh, he throws the heater right in there and gets him swinging. Joel, mention while I'm working on the camera. Uh, in case it's getting a little bit of turbulence on this flight, uh, the camera is being under redirected right now for a better view for your viewing pleasure. And there is ball three. We're work some full count again. Works the count full. Yes. And the pitch on the way. Oh, he punches him out looking. Yes, and diddy doody, and he knew it. And he knew it, and that ends the inning on a strikeout. One left on base after a promising start. The runner on third stranded. What do we got here? Oh, there's some sunglass gloves. It's getting windy out here, folks. Huh? Third inning? No, this is, we're going to the bottom of two. Or no, top of three. Yes, I'm sorry. I had it all wrong. We're going to the top of three. Yes, those are my gifts. So, um, you can if you'd like to. Dana Bromberg coming up. Well, I don't know. The guy's name's Bromberg. We're making up names because we don't know anybody. Those are for people chasing foul balls. We give them to the kids. Josh has had none because he had sweets earlier and I told him no. I don't know. Here's Josh right here. Coach. 
think we have a substitution or something going on right here. We're sitting here at the Fresh Crown, top of three. Tie ball game, two to two. You are? You want to say hi to the fans? Not in my chair, though. Here's a, you want some diet soda? We're waiting, uh, finishing the warm-ups. They go down to two. Dana Bromberg coming up to the plates. Uh, we're talking to anybody watching this game being streamed to Chicago and New York right now. Well, then tell him again. Go find Alec and tell him. What ball? That's a bad. That's. What are you? Do? What are you looking for? Ben has the ball from here. If, Um, as soon as this one's over, this is the third inning. When this is over, this is the end. This is the last game today. That's what I'm saying. You might, like I said, CTA starting in a few minutes. Here comes the pitch. It's on the way, and he swings and misses. You're welcome. You stood up. I said, damn it. Rocks. Yeah, Rock hit him in the eye. Yeah. I felt it in my, I got one on my knee. That was a, gra a dirty, dirty strike. Not because, just because he swung. Broomberg, the ball on the way. And here it comes, and it's in the dirt again, but that one will go in for a ball. All right, they even it up. Yes. Broomberg on the way, probably. Oh, he fouls it out of play down the third baseline. And... Uh, Close there. Why is who doing what? Oh. What ball is this? That's not our ball. Put it in here. That's it's not a game ball. Put it in here. There's a the there's a ball. And we're waiting for the pitch. Oh, just a bit outside. Works the count. Full. Full. And the leadoff batter here in the third, Bromberg. Looking for the payoff pitch. It's on the way, and he strikes out. So again. That one's in there pretty good. Laurent, Lorenzo Rosenberg comes to the plate. Lorenzo came from Venezuela. Um, yes, I have to agree with you, Lee. Not very suntan. He's been playing out of fresh in uh, New York. Uh, the weather just hasn't broke yet. Oh, there's a strike. Lorenzo Rosenberg out of Venezuela. <laughs> Ecuador? I'm sorry, I stand corrected. It is Ecuador. And the pitch on the way. Oh, he hits a hold of it. It's down the third baseline. It is going to the fence. He's rounding first, headed to second. And he will come in with a stand-up double. He got that one. Who? Now stepping into the plate is Norman Lippy. They call him the Lip. Also part of the East Coast Mafia. Your mom says she's doing Shabbat. She needs tape her. Oh, she's going to do Shabbat? That's not even the point. What's the point? Uh, what they did? Did they hit him? What just happened? Intentionally walk him? They are walk. Intentionally walk him to load up the force. Why did they intentionally walk? I guess they want the force. Jose Kaplan stats in again. Number twelve, one of my favorites. Well, they walk the force. Uh, they, maybe they're thinking double play ball. Oh, my watch the CTA game. I didn't realize the time. Oh, the wind is picking up here. Jose Kaplan. He doesn't have to. They're welcome to stay. He's not going. Well, I thought you were taking him to the game. But he didn't want to practice. After that, I thought you weren't coming. Sorry about the chit-chatter. We're having some domestic issues on the line here. 
<laughs> Ow, I just got hit. Oh, he should he should he really should go, but whatever. I know. All right, so the pitch on the way, men on first and second. Top of the third, one out. Oh, he looks back to second. The pitch on the way. Oh, he eats a pop fly. It's in the shallow right field, and it's caught by the second baseman. What a nice play. Nice play there. There's two out, so right now it appears that the uh, intentional walk has worked. We'll see what happens here. What? Oh, stop it. Fix that, will you? Hershiana's up. The old, it's flipped up from the wind to five to two. It's still two to two. Hershiana, Hershiana, Hershiana Putnam is up. And they're trying to mess with the guy at second, he gets back. Trying to keep the runners close to the bags here. As we have a tie ball game in the top of three. And out of the stretch, the southpaw looks in. Checks the runners and the pitch is on the way outside. Uh-oh, at the runner takes off running and they catch him sleeping and he's safe at second and all the runners advance. All the runners advance, they were not paying attention and that's what happens. I, I know, the pitcher almost got beamed. The pitcher was worried about his protective helmet, or no, not his helmet, that was the other game. Lost his hat in the wind and the ball's live. You gotta remember the ball's live. Interesting play, see what happens here. So, Merle Hershiser and uh, Hershana put him. Is, uh, it's important here, he gets a little poke here, could score two runs. And out of the stretch, pitch on the way, here it comes. Foul ball. Foul ball. Yes, and Diddy Doody. Shlomo who? Should Shlomo bring that ball to me? Did Shlo no, no, you don't only get candy if you bring a ball. Strike. Put it in the bag. Right, put it in the bag then. Just put it in my bag. And here comes the one-two pitch on the way. Uh, ready? Yes, and Diddy Diddy. Uh-oh, it's a high foul ball. Into the parking lot. He's fighting him off here. Hershana put him. Hershana Putnam, number four. Number tw number nine, Hershana Putnam, just kidding. All right, pitch is on the way. We're looking here, men on second and third, tie ball game, two outs. And the pitch. The runners are going and it's another foul ball. No. Oh, it's a hot potato out there. I am not giving Mordecai more candy. I don't care what you say. Whoever, not you. Her, here's her Shane upon him. Your mom said you didn't want to be the announcer. Uh, I said I didn't want to wear headphones. The runners are running on this. What the heck was that all about? What was going on there? Looked like a double steal something or rather. It didn't make any sense. The guy on second almost passed the guy on third on a foul ball at third base. It, yeah, that made a lot of sense. That was a little bizarre, Jerry. We are stuck at the one-two count. We can't just seem to get off of this. He's fouled off 37 in a row. 37 foul balls. We're not giving Mordecai any more airheads. I don't care what you say. Oh, the wind's picking up. There's a little dust storm coming in here. And time is called. Her Shayna Punham is back in the box. Hey. Isaac, out! Out! Mordechai, out! I'm not joking! Out! Uh, you're in here, that's what I have against them. But we're allowed. No, you're only here because I'm here. You're not allowed in here. 
rain's really picking up out The here. wind's picking up. Uh, I think we're finally 2-2. Two -two. Hershana put them on here. And we're waiting on the pitch. Uh, another foul ball. This is becoming a lengthy at bat. A lengthy at bat as we are still tied 2-2 two -to -two with two outs here at the top of third. Say what? A sphere of beard? A sphere of beard. Oh, the sphere of beard. Yes, I got it now. Yes, yes, a sphere of beard. Oh, he finally strikes him out on a heater and ends the inning with two men on. Yes, we're going to the bottom of the third. And the Ida Crown Aces are coming up. An exciting, exciting ball game here as we're stuck at two to two. I tell you what, the way that inning was going, I was about ready to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, games in the pool round can to end in a tie. Well, then they're going to challenge the thing. Oh, let's not worry about that. Um, yes, it'll be an interesting outcome because I don't think you can do a protest when there's no evidence to prove otherwise, and we do not have video replay here. Who is? Who's throwing garbage? Isaac Myers, you are on the live feed. Huh? The other one, Mordecai Zuckerman? I, um, I'm sorry to call these young kids out. But at any rate, we're at a break in the third inning. Teams are switching over, and uh, the catcher's getting his equipment on. We are up to the top of the order here. We're Leif Shriver. Famous actor from Ray Donovan is coming up at first at bat. If you say so, John. <laughs> oh, yes, and diddy doody, there's a break in the action. To. No, she's talking about the baseball players, not the kids. No, she was like two years ago where... Dude, ooh, give me some more. No, what's wrong with this? No, not every time does the skin tear. No, it could hit the parking lot, it could hit the fence, and then something... It's, you can see on this ball where it is missing. Are you telling me he could yeah, he says he's going to play with his friends. Yeah. I was over there with Boaz. You're trying to get. Yeah, but you're. Is Yaffa here? What are you. Yaffa? I saw her earlier. She was over there. Probably. I think she's down there by the medical tent. All right, so we're back in action here. Leave Schreiber is back in the game. And okay, well, we're at the top inning, and there's a strike on the outside corner. So we got the 0-1 pitch, and we're back underway here in the bottom of three in a tied ball game, 2-2. Two two. Schreiber, oh, he gets a hold of that one. It's a pop fly out the left field, and it's uh, an out. Oh, number 17. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Ernie Paskov is in right now. It was passed on. It wasn't passed off. Uh, Ernie scored. He singled his first time at bat in the first inning. Oh, there's a high fly ball. Where did that go out of play? All right. It's straight back. Back. Don't give him any more. No. I say no more for him. Well, get it off the car then. Sounds like it's retrieval. Of course he does. Outside. Just a bit outside. There's the ball. Evens it up one and one. Johnny Paskoff. Another outside. Another outside pitch. It's two to one. 
Now, on the next one. It's a two for one after 10. Two for one after 10, tell him. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that came over his head. He had to hit the deck. And was that ball four, I guess? Um, somebody's got to get you to the bathroom. I don't know who that's going to be. Yeah, there's a porter potty right there. How'd you lose the camera? What was it on? Was it? That screws in. It can't. Was it on there? We're having some technical difficulties. It screws on. Do they? You got to be kidding me. So stepping into the plate now is Hank Greenberg, and they're on the run. They call a balk. They call a balk. So the runner advances. Ben needs to go potty, he said. He's right there. He needs to go potty. Here, do I need to fix that, or you got it screwed in? All right, Hank Greenberg is back up. Uh, they're going over the balk roll with the pitcher. Looks good, doesn't it? There's no tear, yeah. I put that one back in play. All right, as we're getting action back underway and trying to get the video stream corrected. All right, leadoff runner at second base. Greenberg in the box, pitch on the way. Just a bit inside. Looks down to his coach, who's not paying any attention to him. <laughs> a long lineage of Greenberg baseball players in the plate. And there's another one. That one's outside. Oh. Just a bit outside. Hank Greenberg with the face paint here. It's pretty sunny out. Just kidding. And it's on the way. Oh, he goes upstairs with that one. And uh, that's a third ball. Yes, Zwelling appears to be on deck. Is, are they switching? Paul Zwelling might be on deck. And the pitch, the delivery. Oh, he walks him on four. They walk him to get to Zwelling. We got men on first and second. Zwelling, it looks like they're giving him the green light. Zwelling launched it out of play last time up. Hitting a Rawlings wood bat. Looks to be about 28 ounces. What do you think? Oh, he gets a hold of that one. Uh, there's runner interference. He's out. Unbelievable. He gets hit by the ball. That is just some. The runner got hit. That is just some. Uh, I got to tell you, folks, I believe that's some poor base running. To get, you got to be on the lookout. Ran right into the ball. All you do is stop. That is just an error in judgment there by Ida. And that makes two outs and men on first and second. So stepping into the plate now is Aaron Schulman. And waits on the pitch, he shows bunt and pulls it back and it's a ball. Can you see what, do we have a good view over there? Schulman goes down to talk to his coach. Coach is probably saying, uh, I'm not sure we're bunting with two outs, but that would just be me. Quickly. Say it quickly, quickly. Say it loud, Ben. Good job, Ben. That a boy, buddy. What is Nuss getting? All right, after convening with a meeting down at third base, uh, Aaron Schulman is back up at the plate. Okay, how much is it? One dollar. Okay, Shulman, after the discussion, uh, pitches inside, gets away from the catcher, and the runners advance. Oh, no, they yep, the runners advance, and they're safe. So now we have runners at second and third with... Uh, where's all my money? You guys use all my money? What do you want? You want one? Is Grandpa here? Oh, go ask Bubby and Grandpa for money. If they're not, come back. Ask your Bubby and Grandpa. Don't ask your dad. Oh, there's a strike on the outside corner. They love that corner. The corner on the right side behind the plate. And the pitch. Oh, it's a pop fly. Looks like the 
first baseman's under it, and he caught it. He caught it. He hits the deck, but he did hold on to the ball, and that's the third out of the inning. We're going to the top of four, a heated battle two to two. Got to, got to tell you that Ida, in my opinion, had a lost opportunity by getting hit there. Oh yeah, that was a, that was dramatic. What? Oh. We'll be, uh, what, he wants one and you want one? Oh, because he's being denied airheads? I'm sorry, I just can't see giving a kid that much candy. But he isn't going to get. Alright, I'm going to go. got control of this? Oh, I got control. Will you make sure that Shari gets this chair back, or should I bring it yeah. back to her now? Why, is it a special chair or something? It's her chair. Oh, it is? Okay. I'm going to just let her know. Let her know. Let her know. So we are enjoying ourselves out here in the 10th annual Columbus Baseball Invitational hosted by the Columbus Torah Academy, also known as the Jewish World Series if you ask us. 10, 11 teams from all around the country convening on Columbus for an exciting few days of baseball. Okay, thank you. So we get the 44. 24's come in for him, is that what he said? 22, double deucer. The old double deucer, Ricky Altman. Is standing in at the plate, number 10. No, that's not Ricky Altman. Oh, he's got 10 on the back of his helmet, that's what messed me up. 84. Ricky. Leads off the inning for Frisch. Shout out to the Seniors. Oh, that's a high fly ball back, and oh! Who got that one? Oh, not again. Mordecai operating on a two for one. Jeez, driving me nuts. Give me the ball. Uh-oh, this one's a little bit scuffed up. This one's a little torn up. This one's a little bit torn up. There's another foul ball. Another foul ball. And the pitch on the way. Just inside and in the dirt. Did they get that other foul ball? Anybody get that foul ball? Oh, that's a high fly ball out the center field, and he's camping under it, and he makes the play. First out of the inning. Did anybody get that foul ball that was over there? Huh? No one's going to get it. What? Someone went to get it. Someone went to get the foul ball. We're trying to get another one for the umpire here. All right, so stepping in is Duke Dukas with one out and a four. Oh, he shows bunt. 
And he tries to lay one down, but fouls it off. That's a strike. Well, that one's out in the lot, I guess. The umpire's going to need this ball because I don't think they're bringing a new one out. All right, so Dukas. Dukas waits on the pitch. There's one out and a strike on him. And he lakes strike two right down the old pike -Rooney. The 0-2 count here coming with one out. My prediction this next one's going to be a ball. You think they're going to pitch around and see if he swings at it? He did. Oh, and he gets him out on strikes. Yeah. Nice change up to him. That's what I get for both. That's what I get for Nice both. change up. Yeah. <laughs> one had a, uh, the skin was torn. Do you want it back? I didn't think so. So I got a new one here if you need one. And they did not get the last one for some reason. It's starting to drizzle a little bit here. The old double deuce are in for the 44. So, I don't know. Half the man, right? Oh, you got him? You got this one back? Uh, ask the umpire. Walk over there. Ask him if he wants this one. Or if he wants that out of play. Yeah. In, wait till this guy's done. See if he wants that or he wants to keep it out of play. All right, so number 22 is in for the Frisch Hound Dogs. Okay, they're not the Hound Dogs. Ground ball to short, on to one, and he gets it, and that'll do it. A 6-3, and a nice turn. Ask him now if that ball's good or bad. And we change sides here in the fourth inning. We go to the bottom of four. Ida Crown will be coming up. We are locked in a 2-2 two -two ball game. Does he want that one? Does he want to use that one? Did he say he wanted to use that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So coming up here at the bottom of four for Ida Crown, the, the aces of Ida Crown appears to be Jose Schwartz. Jose, can you see? Jose, can you see Schwartz coming up in a two to two ball game? Sitting here live, Lee Goodman and Yonkel Velva. Lovely day for baseball. It looks like the little sprinkling has subsided. We've been under weather advisory potential uh, this whole weekend, looking into this week as we've been doing the planning here for CBI. Try to start the games a little earlier today to beat out the storms that are supposedly coming in tonight, and if we can get lucky and... Uh, if we are going to have some, oh, there's one in the dirt. Nothing like knee in the dirt. Rocks hitting the knees on the grounder from the pitcher. Jose Schwartz is on deck, and he's got the uh, sphere of beard going. <laughs> the sphere of beard. Somebody say my name. That's what I heard. Thank you. Thank you. Good to hear. All right. Jerry Corvass goes out to first base as a coach. And Jose Schwartz is getting ready to step in. The alignment in the outfield. He takes another pitch. There's a little curveball. Warm ups. And uh, we're waiting for the pitch. We're waiting for the call to go down to the second baseman. And it's coming down. And there it goes. All right, we're ready to get underway here again. Ready to get underway. Frisch Schneider Ida Crown, JCC Diamond 2 here at Columbus, uh, Columbus Baseball Invitational. Are we on or not on? All right, so Jose Schwartz steps in, and the first pitch in the bottom of the fourth inning on its way. And he takes it for a ball outside. Takes it for a ball outside. And the pitch on the way. Oh, that's another ball outside. High placement on the outside, higher up and away. Having some video adjustments for you. And the sprinkles keep coming. They keep, keep coming. And the pitch. Oh, uh, just in at the knees for a strike. And 
A lot of activity going on in the Ida Crown bench, as you can hear. And it's the three and one. Count, three and one, no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. 2-2 two -two ball game. Ida Crown aces at the plate. And the pitch on the way, another high and outside ball, and he will get a bit. And there he goes. Jose Schwartz moves down to first base. We're waiting on Burstein to come in. Yeah, Ellen Burston is coming into the box. Also hitting a Rawlings piece of lumber. And he is ready to go. Lead off at first base by Schwartz. Oh, another high one. We're having some, uh, most of these pitches are coming in high, as you're probably noticing at home, if you can see at home. The 1-0 pitch is on the way, and it is outside. He's uh, pitchers behind here, two to nothing on uh, Ellen Burston. And the pitch down in the dirt, but caught by the catcher. Kept in front of him, and it's 3-0. So the 3-0 pitch, runner will be possibly moving if it's a walk, or will they give him the green light on a 3-0? They haven't seen a strike all day, and that's a strike right there. Oh, no, it's not. He caught it a little high. It was a little high above the belt. My bad. So there's another walk. So we've got two base on balls in a row here. Garland Stern. Garland Stern coming up next. You gotta get like a plastic bag to put over. All right, so there's a lot of strategy going on here as the coaches are discussing it. You have enough wire, that you have 30 feet of wire. You should be able to move that. There's 30 feet of wire for that camera. All right, so after a little strategy playing, the aces are gonna step into the batter's box. Garland Stern has his instructions, men on first and second. Would not be surprised to have him take a pitch and advance the runners. But we'll see what happens here. And in the stretch, pitch on the way, another inside. And high, he pushes him off a little bit. The 1-0 pitch. See if they have the hit and run going or a bunt. What do we got going on here? Oh, 2-0. Garland Stern stepping in, and so far, two more balls. So that is something. That's what that is. Runners taking leads at first and second. Pitch on the way. Oh, outside gets by the catcher, and the runners are advancing to throw down to third base, and he's out. I think he's out. Came off the base. He overran third base, and he is out. He is out at third base. No, I'm sure, Lee, that they did not have that planned. That's why it's, a, it's important to slide and touch the base. Slide and touch the base. Looks like the hit and run or whatever is off of Garland Stern. He stands in now. See if he can occupy first base. And it's on the way right down the middle. That's a strike. All right, so Garland Stern standing in. Man on second. One out, and he draws another base on balls. That's the third walk of the inning. So that. I don't know. It's a tough game pitching. Lee Cohen. Albert Cohen, sorry. Albert Cohen, as I call him, steps in. Other side of the plate, southpaw. And he looks at a strike. So they might have the pitching back under control here. Look at the 0-1, men on first and second, one out. Bottom of the four, it's two to two. Inside pitch, he takes that one in foul territory down the line. And they are retrieving it. That'll be 0-2. 
when we get under play here, Al Cohn will be looking at the 0-2 pitch. Men on first and second. And one out. Bottom of four. Ida Crown East. And the pitch to the plate. It's up. They get the guy running at third and another put out at third base. You have got to be good. You would think they figured it out, but they did not figure it out. And there's another put out at third base. This catcher is on fire. And they did not have the double steal on, so there's still a runner at first base. I don't know. I guess they don't have a lot of confidence. Al Cohn with the foul ball back to the other field. So things are getting a little interesting again. It's 0-2, guy on first base. Now we're with two outs, two runners. Put out, oh, he throws his head and he charges the mound. Okay, no, he didn't charge the mound. I made that up. <laughs> and we got an official time right now as we're waiting. Repositioning. Cone back in the box. The runner leads off at first base. One, two count and the pitch on the way. A little bit off speed and it's a pop fly in the infield and the pitcher calls it and the first baseman takes it off of him and catches it for the third out. That was a circus act, but that's three outs. We have another ball being put into play. So we move on to the fifth inning with a tie ball game. It's still two to two. Go help him and go show him because I'm going to tell him huh? Sure, you're talking about. Have Josh figure. Show Josh who it is. Unbelievable. Ah. All right, so we're back here as we get into the top of the fifth inning with the Fresh Friars. <laughs> the Fresh Friars, of course they're not. All right, Judge Reinhardt is up at the plate, representing the bottom of the lineup. Last batter before we hit the top. That was him. <laughs> Lee gets the message from Fast Times. Here comes the pitch. Oh. Yes, it's being streamed. I am, imagine it'll be on our YouTube channel, I would think. So what just happened? It. Long fly ball. Long. Long fly ball. Oh, he was safe though. So Judge Reinhardt gets a single on a fly that I didn't. It's being interrupted by a parent. And our good friend Dana Bromberg is back uh, as we hit the top of the order for the Frisch. Frosh. And it's still sprinkling here. Pitch is on the way. Maybe. And he delivers. He shows bunt and he fouls it off. Oh and one. The Shulmans. These kids are. All right, well, we'll wash it off later. Thank you. That's a new ball. Leave that there. Because he might need a new ball here in a minute. All right, Banner steps out of the box. 
Sitting with an 0-1 count, Bromberg. Lead off at first is Judge Reinhardt. He looks. Looks him over at one, delivers the pitch. It's swung on, a lazy ground ball. Third base. Oh, look, that pitcher kind of interfered with the third baseman. Had he let it go, there could have been a play. And it looks like it might have gone off the catcher or something. He's uh, dropped his mask and going into the dugout. Not sure what happened there. He might have got hit in the hand with the bat. And there's men at first and second. It rolled an infield single. All right, so Rosenberg is getting ready to step in. Hank Rosenberg. You're thinking of Hank Greenberg. It's been a long day. We got guys at first and second. And Rosenberg is eyeing the pitcher, and it's on the way, and he swings in, misses strike one. Okay. I heard that. All right. And they look him back, and the runners return to their bases. Old Rosenberg stepping out of the box, eyeing up the pitcher. And he's back in. It might have been, as far as you can tell. And the pitch on the way, it's outside ball. Evens it up at one and one on the count. Yes, indeedy, here we are out in the drizzling rain underneath no cover. And the eyes of the runners at first and second. Looks the back, pitch on the way, just a bit outside. Very close, very close indicates the uh, pitch. The umpire, clean umpire. Oh, they might be trying to hit, get the hit and run going here. There hasn't been any scoring in a few innings. And this game is tight. Oh, inside corner strike. Yes, that looked good. What kind of gloves? Like, just catching gloves? I don't think so. I don't remember. No, you're not going into my car right now by yourself. Oh, he gets a hold of that one. It goes deep to center. He's under it, and that's an out. They tag. Oh, no, the runner either slipped or held up. He was held. So there's no sack on the play. That's the second out as he flies out to number eight if you're scoring with us at home. The runners do not advance, so we're at first and second with one out. And we have number four is in for G. Gordon Lippy. Um, number four, who is number four? Let's see if we have him on our roster anyway. I can try to give you the names. Don't have it. Let's see here. No. Got nothing. Got nothing for you. I don't have a number four anywhere written down. I think that guy is a ball boy. They just converted into a ball player. <laughs> and the official concurs. Oh, wait. They're calling him back, and they're getting him a glove and having him sit on the sidelines. Oh no, he's coming back, he's got his instructions. I believe the first instruction is not to make an out. What do you think, Lee? <laughs> we have number four in for Felipe Lipe, I guess. We'll put him down in here, not sure. And we don't know, are they calling him Lippy? There it is. Was that a ball or a strike? I missed it. I thought it felt like a strike. All right, he's out of stretch. He looks the guy back at second base. He looks and delivers. And it's strike two on the outside corner. If this is Felipe Lipe, he's just sitting there looking at it and he starts out 0-2. And gets ready for the delivery. Here it comes. No, that's way outside. He doesn't get him chasing after that guy. 
One and two. One and two, and waiting on the pitch. He's taking his time. Delivers a high. I don't know if they thought the runners might be going on that one. Evens it up at 2-2 two -two count as we're sitting here in the top of five of a 2-2 two -two ball game. Maybe this is. Let's see what happens here, folks. Oh, right down the gut. He gets a little bit late chopper on that. You think? A little late chopper. Comes straight back into the screen. Still 2-2, two -two, working the fouls. And the pitch on the way. Outside, that's ball three. <clears throat> and so he works it full here. With Jose Kaplan on deck. Oh, that's a hot, that's a high foul ball. Let's see if that's a thunker. Nope, I don't know, those are seeing eyeballs. Bounced in between two cars and did not hit one. I was counting on a windshield on that one. Out of play and it's still full count. And it gets set, reviews the runners. Looks back the runner second and they throw it and oh no, he's safe. Could be a dangerous throw if they don't complete that connection. All right, pitcher's back on the mound, on the rubber, and comes to rest. Ball in his glove, delivers, and it's just a little bit upstairs for a ball four call, and they can't believe it. Bases are loaded. And the bases are loaded, Lee. That is 100% correct. And Jose Kaplan comes up to the plate with the bases loaded and one out looking for a grand salami. It would be a kosher Solomon salami available only. Get out of here. It's two for one day. Give me the ball. Isaac, give me the ball now. I'm going to go get Rabbi Randolph. Do you want me to do that? Isaac Myers, if you're listening, will not listen. What? No, the US, no, the umpire will try to take this one. Another foul ball into the parking lot. Oh yes, we have contact with the car on that one. That one, we hit a car. Here, go ask, give this back to the umpire. Wait, let him bring that one back. Who's bringing this one back? What are we sitting at, one, two count? Oh, it's inside and it bounces by the catcher. And uh, thank God he covered. Baruch Hashem, Amir Hashem, all those other Hashems. And uh, no runners advance. So the bases are still loaded. It looks like a two, two count. Do not hit it off the fence of a game. That's my son, I can talk to him that way. Yes, the day did it, you better believe it. So let's see. This, let's see what happens here with Jose Kaplan. Sitting with two strikes, a couple balls, bases loaded. Great opportunity for scoring, and it's just outside. All right. That's the pitch. Which is the one I already had? Oh, that's the one we had? You can't do that, or I'll give it back to the umpire by mistake. Okay, thanks. That was a strike? So we're, there's a count full, I believe. Face is loaded. Getting a lot of interference. Oh, he gets him swinging! That ball moved! Wow, that was tough. Here, you wanna... Josh, go give the guy that ball, give the umpire that ball. Wait, yeah, go ahead. Huh? We have two outs. Two down, bases loaded, and Hershana Punham is back up at the plate. Don't see that 
He might hit me with his baseball bat. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Hershana. That's what it looked like in writing. Oh, just a bit outside, Elma. Just missed that one. This has been an exciting ball game thus far. As we're in the fifth inning of a tie, 2-2. Both teams start out. Oh, he gets a hold of that one. That will play. That's down the third baseline into the outfield. Left fielder picks up the ball. Brings it in the infield. Uh, by him at second base. And two runs score on a stand-up double. Yes, and Danny Diddy, you better believe it. That will be Frisch. Frisch. What? Oh, it's uh, them get two. Them got two on that one. Thank you. Now that was a timely hit there. And our pencil's not working. Uh, yeah, it could have been a close play. Altman stands in and he fouls the first one off. He can only live dangerously for so long before they get a hold of one. And uh, Frisch takes the lead four to two here in the top of, oh, they got a hold of that one too, but that's a high fly ball. That should be a can of corn out there in the outfield, and it is. But in the inning, they do take advantage of the bases loaded and bring two home. As we go to the bottom of five, Frisch is on top by a deuce. That was an interesting. That wasn't thunder, was it? I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Listen, don't you? I don't know the words. Well, as long as we have no lightning with that thunder, we're in good shape here at the 10th Annual Columbus Baseball Invitation. We're sitting here with Alex Salutsky. What's up, people? Chief Multimedia Producer of CBI number 10. Are we even on? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're on. The video's frozen on your phone, it's probably your phone. What, it's not working? Yeah, I'm not on his phone. It's okay. it's, it's back. He says it's working and it's back up now. What'd you say, Blue? That's right. Exactly. Yes. Which player wanted an airhead? Okay, give him an airhead. Give him an airhead. Okay, do we play six or seven? It's seven innings, Blue. It'd be seven innings. <laughs> exactly what you said, right? <laughs> yeah, he said six or seven. He did six or seven. You are correct. We do play six or seven innings. All right, so we're at the top of the order here for the Ida Crown Aces. The Aces and the Bases. Lee Shriver of fame is coming back up. Hey, you got 16 viewers. 16 viewers out there. That's outstanding. That is exciting stuff. I'm glad you guys can follow along at home. You might not like the fact that the thing is wet. The camera's tell messed. Him, tell them it's going to be radio for, for a couple. We're going ra we're going audio here for a few minutes, folks. Do not do not steer away from us. Uh, we're going to try to fix the video feed if it's not that awesome. As we're in between innings here, as we go to the bottom of the fifth, four to two ball game. The Aces have some have some work to do here in the bottom of the fifth. Leif Shriver, Ray Donovan is the fixer. He can start fixing it right now. And he steps in as we are getting underway here. And the rain is drizzling a little bit more and he takes the first one outside for a strike on the edge. 0-1 count here. Oh, that's just a bit high inside. Those are always the exciting ones that almost take your head off. He did not go down, so don't be alarmed. I know you couldn't see it at home right now, maybe. Well, these are big raindrops coming down. Good thing I did not wear a hat or a jacket today. And the yeah, book gonna is going to get wet. Tell, tell 
Um, it's We're gonna go on. Screen's gonna go black for a second. Screen's gonna go black for a second. I think they can hear you. And then it's gonna come right back on. I hear an echo. That must be our echo. And that's a ball. And let's see if we turn it this way. If we can try to keep my book. Schreiber steps out of the box. No outs. Bottom of five. And the drops are getting a little bit heavier out here. Whose camera is that? Okay, don't worry about it. Oh, that's a foul ball. Here, go run that out to the umpire there. That's a foul to play. And a new ball's going into play. How about an umbrella by the staff here? Anybody, Bueller? I've got a umbrella out my car. Do you? Yeah. That'd be great. I'm not kidding. Can you get it? How far away is it? Is that it? No? Okay. Oh, there it is. He strikes him out. What's he doing? He's out. He called him strike out. Yeah, give Nuss one. Yeah, you can get one too. Don't. Just give him whatever. So there's one out here, and the aces, they're sending the guys back. They must have a scouting report on Paskov. All right, waiting on the pitch here. Oh, it's inside. What? No, 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 it's good. Good. Paskoff standing in the box, waiting on the pitch. It's on the way, and it's on the outside corner for a strike. All righty. Well, the big drops seem to be slowing down, hopefully, a little bit. And the pitch on the way, it's outside, and had another ball. We got a 3-1 count coming to Pasco. Be interesting here. Does he take a ball four? Looking down the signs. And he's in the box. And the pitch is on the way. And he fouls it off the helmet cam. It's still a 3-1. <laughs> that one went off the screen. The mask, the screen. Three to one. Three and one count here as it's four to two in the bottom of five. JCC Diamond two at Burton. CBI. It's on the way, it's outside and high. Ball four, and that's a base on balls. So he draws a one out walk here in the bottom of the fifth. And we're waiting on Hank Greenberg to come back up. And there he is. What you, you're not taking my stuff right now. Hank Greenberg stands in with one out. Can I tie your shoe? Let's see what happens here first. Oh, they're looking back at one, and he goes in diving without a throw. He goes in diving. There's only somebody on first. And Greenberg stands out of the box. Oh, give me that stuff. Thanks, bud. Greenberg back in the box. They're playing around with the runner at first base. Has a pretty big lead. Pitchers in the stretch. Runner takes off. Ball slam in. They throw down to second base. And he's safe. He's safe. I see you're still here. You just blow away. Yeah, good no boy. So we. Oh, Lee, Lee, you just knocked that over. Dude, where'd those napkins go? Lee's making a big mess here. We need napkins, Ben. Lee just made a big mess. Get it off my table. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lee. What? What, what ball is this? What's wrong with that one? That one's not cut. Is that the cut one? Oh, he gets a hold of it, and it's... 
over the shortstop's head into the outfield and coming into third, he's down and he's safe. So Greenberg hits a single into the outfield. What? I don't have a glove. Where'd you get this ball? This isn't the one I gave you. This is not the one, is it? I don't think it is. You're not playing with it, sorry. All right. This is how it all began. Uh, going back to the first inning, Zwelling hit one out of the yard. We got men at the corners, a two run game, and Zwelling stands in. Oh, he throws over his head. And Zwelling contemplates charging the mound, but he doesn't. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't a pair of scissors, he would have had a nasty haircut. <laughs> That's right, Lee. Uh oh, they take off, they let the runner go down to second. That was an easy base. Now they open up first base if they want to walk Zwelling. With one out, I doubt they'll want to put him on base, but he drew a walk last time and. I don't know, Ben. The big drops are coming back. And they're going sideways now. It's some lovely weather here in Columbus right now as the wind, the stormy sea might be coming in. Oh, yeah, it's the heavy stuff now. Not really. This, we have, we have put those things up. on the ground so they don't make it worse. Just throw them on the ground. We'll get them later. All right, the pitch on the way to Zwelling in the rain. Eight say... Pop flop, foul behind us here. I just got hit in the head by the umbrella. <laughs> this is, here. Uh. All right. Perfect weather day, perfect, perfect. Perfect day for a ball game. All right. We're going to have to figure this out if it's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He drills Welling in the side and loads the bases. All right. With one out and the bases loaded, we got a pinch runner coming in for Swelling, he just took it on the shoulder. I'm just waiting what is this? Ball. Your ball? In the back. Oh, sorry, Lee. All right. Coming in to run. Saw that, thank you. 14 for 42, and they're trying to strategize on the Frisch uh, out at the mound at, during the substitution. The runners are all talking on the Ida Crown team. Bases are loaded with one out. The umpire's going out to the mound to break it up. And we can get this game back under, under play. Shulman getting a lot of instructions here with the bases loaded and one out. Do they dare think squeeze play? They need two runs? I'd say no. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking that I'm thinking Shulman may be on the take for this first pitch. I guess we will see here momentarily as he steps back into the box. Modest leads by the base runners. He looks up on it. It's like a squeeze was on and he uh, fouls the ball off. Interesting strategy here by, by the coaches. And the pitch on the way to Shulman. Strike. Not. The computer? Not. Probably not. Put it in the computer bag. It's probably fine in there. The signal will be fine if you put it underneath that bag, right? Inside the bag. I got nothing. That's, do we have any plastic bags or anything? So Shul 
score is four to two. It is the bottom of five, bases loaded. Shulman fouls it off. Hey, thank you. He fouls it off. Is that my phone or your phone? That's my phone. 23 viewers, that's your phone. Lee's got a phone. All right, 23 viewers, thanks for joining us here. This is an exciting ball game, 4-2. Bases loaded, bottom of five. Shulman standing in. And the payoff pitch is outside. Okay, it wasn't the payoff pitch. I was just teasing you with that. He is fighting this at bat off right now. This could be a hero type hit. A single should score two runs. There's only one out. We don't double play ball could end it. Another foul ball. Another foul ball. Shulman is hanging in there tough right now. Hang it in tough. He steps back into the batter's box. A little breezy here. Big lead at first base. Runner third looking, coming. The pitch on the way. Oh. Ooh, a little bit above the numbers. Gut. One out. Gutsy, gutsy layoff pitch right there for Shulman, if you ask me. Well, with the wind, the wind has stopped. The wind could bring it in. He gets a hold of it, it goes! He kept a line drive to shortstop, and he catches it and touches second base. An unbelievable turn of events here, as Frisch saves with a double play and ends the inning. Unbelievable turn of events here. So sad for the Shulman. And there's a break as we go to the sixth inning. What an exciting ball game. And Ida Crown just missed on a great opportunity there. Okay, good. I asked him to. I asked him to. Doing all that? Looks like it. Does Josh get one? He's already had one or two or three. I don't know how many he's had. He doesn't need to keep eating tons of candy. And tomorrow's another day, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, how about we flip that up as we go to the top of the sixth inning here. In Columbus, Ohio at the 10th Columbus Baseball Invitational. I hope they have a budget for new computers for Columbus Terror Academy after they get soaking wet from this broadcast. <laughs> what do we got going on? Lee is here live. Are people chatting? What's the score? Four to two as we hit the top of the sixth inning. Nice to see our viewers out there. I'm not watching the screen. Ida Crown hoping to hold them and get another shot at the plate when they come back in. But Fresh is getting ready to go out. I can share with you the need need for a restroom break. <laughs> I gotta. Well, maybe your brother can play catch with you. All right. So let's flip it over to the other side of the book that isn't soaking. Well, that one's soaking wet too. All right. It looks to me like Duke Dukem's come. Is that the right team? Is Duke Dukem coming up? He is. Is that New Duke Nukem swing brother? It might be. Uh-oh, are they pulling him back in for a uh, pinch hitter? I don't know. Looks like they're, looks like they might be pinch hitting for Duke. Oh no, they're coaching him. He's getting some last minute advice from the third base coach as he heads into the batter's box. Duke, the Duke, 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 Duke. That's easy we hit it. He might have, yeah, he did. I, only get, I didn't give him any before. No, he doesn't need another one right now. Okay, the first pitch on the way to Duke is his outside ball one. Okay, well then give him one more and that's it. I, nothing more today. Pitch on the way to Duke as he hits it and that is a grounder into the outfield for a single. And he'll hold it first base with a leadoff single here as we are in the top of sixth. Shout out to our sponsor today in my own mind, Pre Remo, the sunglass company. 
Started by David Schottenstein. Only because I'm wearing pre rebounds Limited edition. And you look so cool. Right? I look really cool. And we've got, yeah. Um, he, Jose Weinferger. Um, what? He was pretending to hit me, but um, he didn't. Oh, that's funny stuff. Okay, the Weinfrager stepping in here. And the pitch, oh! Nothing but air on that one. Man on first, no outs here in the top of the sixth inning. As the Frisch Friars are taking on the Aces of Spades. Well, the rain is continuing to blow in every direction and big drops, they throw down the first base and it was a good save by the first baseman and the guy stays on the bag. Rain is really starting to pick up here. Oh, goodness gracious. How, hey, Lee, how about giving me a little bit of the umbrella? Can we lean it forward, or are you just protecting yourself? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Pitch on the way, and that is a strike. Gotta be hard out here for the pitchers. And uh, Duke Dukem is out on strikes. He does not look very happy with himself. No, he doesn't. What's the question? Is it one loss when you're out? No. No, I don't I don't know how it works. This is pool. You play pool, it's a pool uh, lineup. So we got 11 teams, they play in a pool format, and then the top teams go into a championship bracket. That's how it works. Judge Reinhardt back at the plate with one guy on first base and one out. Oh, they throw him down to first base again. This one does get loose by the first baseman, but he covers the ball. And, uh, all right. Everyone's trying to reset here in the top of the six with a 4-2 ball game. This book is getting wet, I'll tell you that. All right, the pitch on the way to Reinhardt. And it's a strike. Oh, it's a good thing we got tents out here like we asked for our Columbus fan base to provide us with. Actually, as you can see, or you can't see, we have nothing. And there's a ball. Yes, Benjamin. You both want a hot dog. I don't blame you. It might get a little wet. I, got, I can't get into my wallet right this second. I'll get you a hot dog. Oh, he shows bunt. Runner runs. They throw down to two and... Uh, Let's see, was that a strike on the bun or he pulled it back? You a lot of stuff getting not, that's his, I, his pen. Put it, the put it underneath the table there. I'm not even sure. I think it was the ball and the runner advanced. The runner advances. All right. So, Judge Reinhardt stands back in there and waits on the pitch. Second baseman closes in on the runner. And he is punched out on strikes. Oh. Like, <laughs> punched out on strikes. Did he punch him out? He didn't punch him out. He acted like it. It was just great pride by the umpire in showing him on a called strike there. So Reinhardt still has another strike to live with. Thought he was out, but it turns out he wasn't out. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yes, oh, they close in again on the runner at second base in the stretch, and now he strikes out swinging. Wasn't that the third strike? That wasn't the third strike either? Oh, that, I'm sorry, Reinhardt was out on strikes. What am I saying? All right. Yeah, we're looking at Dana Bromberg again. Sorry, it's getting wet and fuzzy out here. And Bromberg takes the pitch outside. Oh, nothing like a nice breeze to chill the rain. <laughs> you should see my shoes. And he sits in there and waits on the pitch. Dana Bromberg, and it's on the way, and it's outside for a ball. So we're in the top of six, four to two. Frisch at the plate, up by a deuce. And Bromberg stepping in with two outs and a man on second base. 
And the pitch is on the way, and he gets a hold of it. And that gets through at shortstop on the way home. Uh, that will score a run. And he's in with a single and an extra base. <laughs> Lee, don't start controversy. We do not need any more of that. That is a single and an extra base, and they bring in a run. Lee, you want to go ahead and turn us up? It's 5-2. to two. Go ahead, Lee. Go ahead. No, give me the daggone umbrella, man. Oh, good. I can get the umbrella for a minute while Lee goes out there to the scoreboard and changes it. And it's 5-2 to two here in the top of six. And Geraldo Rosenberg is getting ready to stand in. Okay, rain doesn't affect these boys. So we're back in the same scenario, man on second. Batter in the box, oh, the official calls time. We got a loose ball on the field. All right, Rosenberg getting back to play. Man on second, two outs, one run in. Rosenberg staring down the pitcher. It's on the way and swung on it. It's a fly ball to center field and that should do it and it does. But in the inning, one run and one left on base. And as we hit the middle part of the sixth inning, Frisch is up five to two. We'll be right back after I dry off and we hit the bottom of the sixth. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to dry off, but it'd be nice. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, absolutely have no towels or anything. It'd be nice if we had something. All right. Oh, boy. Go see if they have any towels back at the booth. Could you do that for me, Lee? Go hit the uh, production booth. We're going to send him back to the booth and see if we have any towels. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm in the. I could really go for a bathroom break here as it's five to two. Five to two, and Ida Crown is coming up to the plate. They need to really get some things going here. They want to be in this ball game. As we get into these late innings, the weather's starting to pick up. We started an hour early here today in Columbus with all the games. Actually, this game may have started about an hour and a quarter early because we anticipate some bad weather coming in tonight. That storm that's hitting the Midwest is uh, due to come over Columbus probably in a couple hours. So we're trying to get these ball games in today and see what happens. Our field team crew will be out tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn, assuming no rain, to get everything set up. <sighs> Looks like we have a new pitcher on the hill. Same pitcher on the hill. He's just choosing to take a lot of warm-ups. <laughs> As if he hasn't thrown enough pitches today. Our official pitch count, I think he's at uh, the 375 mark now. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Well, Jerome Schwartz, rest his soul, is coming up to the plate. To lead us off here in the bottom of the sixth inning. As Ida Crown is trying to get something going here in a 5-2 to two ball game. And we're just about underway here as the wind pitcher delivers the first pitch at the bottom of the sixth and it's outside for a ball. I found some invisible towels. Some invisible towels. Lee has brought back invisible towels to clean up invisible raindrops, except they're very visible. You want your Gatorade. All right, there's a uh, strike. Schwartz takes it for a strike to even up the kick. The count one to one. I don't think this pen's even writing on this wet paper. And there is a ball. Two to one. Ida, a two and one count. Ida is hoping to get a guy on base and get some action going here. Dan the Fleck Fleckner. We even fun, Joel. We are having a blast. It's three and one as the count now. A three and one count with, watch that bro. With Ida trying to get a man on base here to make something happen in the bottom of the sixth. Oh my gosh, she hits him right in the side, and that had to leave a mark. Oh yeah. And that is the pitcher. Schwartz is holding his 
chest plate or his arm. I'm not sure which. That really came in fast and hard. Yeah, he got him on the inside. He got him on the inside left. of his. Okay. Uh, they're checking him out. Uh, he looks okay. Hopefully he'll be all right as he walks down to first base. That's a tough one to take with three balls and you get beaned. I hope he doesn't have three balls. He might and they're going to do a pinch runner and he's going to work it out. And Lee, this is a Jewish kosher league and we're not going to have any of those kind of jokes here. I'm going to have to kick you out of the booth. <laughs> I know you'll probably do it just so you can get kicked out of the booth here. Uh, anyway, Schwartz has a pinch runner. They're setting up some. They're setting up some strategy here with Ida, and uh, wow, we'll see what kind of effect that takes if this gets into the seventh inning because Schwartz is their pitcher. So hopefully it's nothing serious, no bruising, no nothing. I mean, he seems fine. What's that? What do we got going on here? Are they making a pitching change? Now we got a pitching change by the fresh freshmen. Interesting. After that 375th pitch, they decided that was the pitch count, and they're pulling them out. <laughs> 375. Can you imagine? Oh, he's a sidewinder here. A little, uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't see that every day. As he works through his warm-up routine here. Slinger reminds me of the old Dodger organization. The righty, number 18. I don't even know who that is. We can try to find out for you. We're going to our statistician, Lee Goodman. Lee, do you got any idea who number 18 is? What's that? We're getting this out of the TV booth. Um, let's see here. Number 18 is... How full they had names on Vaughn... Vaughn Rosenberg. Jimmy Vaughn Rosenberg. I know he had a different name when he hits and he's not pitching. Edgar Rosenberg. We change his name when he pitches, so it's still Rosenberg, number 18, is on the mound now for the Frisch Frischers. And the leadoff manner, we're back in play. They look him down. Rosenberg looks back to one with a pinch runner there. We've got no outs here in the bottom of the sixth out of a 5-2 ball game. And Ellen Burstein is up at the plate. The rain's kind of calming down. The fans are sitting up here watching this ball game. And Burston stands back. They throw it over first base, and he's safe. And they return the ball back to the mound. So getting some action over there with a the 5-2 game. They're trying to keep the runner close. Burston stands back in. A big lead and a big swing, and nothing happening. He had a home run swing on that one, Lee, wouldn't you think? I try not to. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things happen better when you don't think, right? And that's outside for a ball. So we even have to count it one to one, a man on first base, and uh, five to two, bottom of the sixth inning. Are we playing six or seven? That's right. We're playing six or seven innings, <laughs> as I told the umpire. Now we're playing, it goes seven. And this count evens up at two to one. First and inside, trying to make some action here with no outs and the man on first base and that three-run deficit. Yeah, that's a little and that's outside. Yeah, you're right. That's a little outside. So he's sitting here with a 3-1. Will they give him the green light? Looks down to third base for a sign. And I uh, don't see much going on there. We'll see what happens here. New pitcher, first batter faced. Rosenberg eyes it up, delivers. Oh, he hits it. Uh, it's bobbled at third base, and oh my goodness, he still gets him out at first. I don't know what was going on there. Plenty of time to recover at third and get him on a 6-3 fielder's choice. Not sure why he wasn't running a little bit harder on that. Lee? I think he might have already committed to a double play ball or an out. I don't know. Kids at home, you always run. Do not watch. And it looks like we have, uh, who do we have in here? Gardner Allen Stern. A high fly ball to first base, and the runner stays at two. So there are two outs here in the sixth inning. Yeah. 
And Ellie Cohen was replaced by Al Cohen, but it's still Cohen. Now Al Cohen with two outs and a man on second. Trying to keep the inning alive for the Aces. First pitch is high and outside, ball one. All right. And we on the pitch, and it's right at the numbers. Down the center of the plate for a strike. It's one and one. One and one. I'll see you, Soph. Have a safe drive home. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, she goes backside with right down the line, and that will score a run. We think he's coming to the plate, and he's safe. That was impressive. Cohen goes backside down the line for a single to keep a two-out rally alive and bring a run home. Lee, update our board. It's a two-run ball game. Go right ahead. What a timely hit by Cohen. That was a beauty. Changes to three. And Lee Shriver, Ray Donovan, comes back up to the plate. <laughs> All right, two out bingo going on here. A man on first. Shriver's going to see what he can do. Oh, first pitch. He bought a breeze back here. Lee, did you feel that one? I thought it was just the wind. I thought it was the wind, too, but I think it was his swing. It was powerful, but nothing. So the 0-1 pitch, guy on first, got a good lead. They're looking him over. And, oh, comes the high and tight, and that's a ball. High and tight, it's a one-to-one -one count. Schreiber at the plate. Leadoff runner is still there at first, and he takes the second ball. A loose ball, and I don't think he was thinking for a minute of moving. I don't know if you noticed, but the lights are starting to come on the field. It's going to oh, start to I got to tell you, the lights, uh, there's a master switch, and the lights on Diamond 1 are terrible. And you might have to hit it multiple times to get it to turn on. I'm not even kidding. I did, I did. Is there a master? And I can tell you, the alignment on Diamond 1 lights, we were out here Thursday night, the infield was just terrible. But Diamond 2 is another story. We're trying to turn them on. Oh, there's a grounder to third. He fields it cleanly, goes on to one, and he dropped it. He dropped it. He's safe. That, no. There's a guy. There's a guy on second. <laughs> so the runner advances to second on an error on one. On the, on the E3. Sorry about that. That was E3. And Paskov steps in. 21 viewers. If you're holding steady with the viewers. We still have two outs here, a little six, little two out bingo and a five or three ball game. They're calling the outfielders in on Paskov. And Paskov steps into the plate. They're looking for the first pitch to keep this inning alive for the Aces. And it's in there for a strike. Runners at first and second, Paskoff in with an 0-1 count. A five to three ball game in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch on the way, it's a bit outside and that's a 1-1 count, evens it up. Runners get ready, pitcher is in the stretch, the pitch on the way and it's outside ball two. Gets up two to one. On deck is Hank Greenberg. See if Paskoff can make some bingo happen here right now. For the eye to crown aces. He sits in, the pitch is on the way, it's in the dirt, and the runners hold. The runners hold as it moves to three and one on the batter, Paskoff. He's looking down. He's looking down, he gets the instructions. It's got to be a good one. As we're in the top of seven here with Frisch leading the ball game five to three. Ida hoping to get out of the inning unscathed here. Uh-oh, Lippy hits it that center. Uh, he's camping under it and he's got it. And that's one out. All right, so Nate Kaplan comes to the plate. Come on, 
Nate Kaplan steps in here with one out. Top of seven. Looking for insurance runs, although it looked like two runs could hold it, and the first pitch is in the down low for a ball. You better believe it. We have got quite a ball game here in Columbus. Diamond two, game two. Oh, he comes inside, ball two. Nate Kaplan looking at that ball and getting the numbers right off the right off of the leather, I think, on that one. Oh, he fouls that one away and gets it to a 2-1 count now. Nobody on, one out here in the top of the seventh. Frisch and Ida Crown in a 5-3, what's been an exciting, tight game. Recap, Zwelling took it out of the yard beginning of the first inning. Oh, and the rain starts again. And there's a strike. He looks at the strike and evens it up two and two. Two and two, the count on Kaplan. And the pitch on the way. And he grounds it foul down the third baseline. Grabs his bat. And steps back into the box. On the way, another grounder down the third baseline. A man after my own heart, a pool ball hitter. Kaplan walked in the first, flew out, and then struck out. So he's trying to get his first hit of the game here. Gets ready, pitch on the way, and he strikes out swinging. Chasing another heater on that one. And Hershana Putnam steps back into the batter's box, almost. Hershey who grounded into a 1-3 in the first. Had a double his last time up and was responsible for bringing in the game winning as of this minute RBIs. He had a stand up double his last at bat. And here he is, no one on the bags, two down. Pitch on the way, it's in the dirt for a ball. Maybe they're pitching around her, Shana. Yeah, I don't think so. And the pitch out of the stretch on the way. It's high and outside, ball two. I'm liking them eyeballs, all right? I'm liking them eyeballs. Come on, Ricky Altman is uh, on deck. Inside. Inside ball three. They might be pitching around him after last inning, or last at bat, rather. Rain's kind of stopped here in Columbus. Oh, it's in there for a strike. Way to deliver. The pitcher does not fall behind too far. It's three and one count here in the top of the seventh. Hershey at the light. And the pitch, he swings, and it's a pop fly. Out of play. Well, the count works full for Hershey. Is that the ball? Yeah. Looks good. You can give it out to the umpire next next time or see what he's doing. All right, a full count coming into Hirsch. And the pitch on the way. Oh! Into the top of the screen for ball four. So Frisch has a base runner here with two outs. And a five to three ball game and Ricky Altman is on deck and getting ready to step in. What do you say? Your name's not Ricky? I just use names of people I know. I know a Rick Altman. No Altman. Oh, and a fine, fine performance as we take a break in the action. The Ida Crown Aces bring in a new pitcher at the top of the seventh with one man on. Schwartz went just about the distance here. I think the rain has kind of let up. Lee, you want to hold the umbrella now that it's not raining? Oh, boy. I still have to go to the bathroom, and it's been four innings. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute. The game's been on for six. I have only had to go for four. I thought maybe you went during the game. No, I forgot to put on my Depends today. 
it would have it would have saved me uh, 42 re-entered gradually I can't be having a 42 and a re-entry here oh that's one's torn up yeah well, that's this will be interesting Noah Altman's gonna step in here with two outs and a guy on first not to be confused with all the other Altmans. Jerry Altman. Altman, Robert Altman, and Ricky Altman, and the Altman brothers. <laughs> Nobody would, no one would have a clue what I'm talking about, Lee. All right, can hey, we? Neither do I. <laughs> all right, can we speed this up? I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, this is the seventh inning. Oh no, it can end in a tie. Yeah, this is pull play. According to our wet rules here, it says in pull play, uh, the game can't end in a tie. So yeah, this is the last inning regardless. Yes, interesting thing in pull play, all the teams agree to the rules when they come into Columbus for this tournament that uh, in the event that this would happen, we ended a tie, or uh, either would be able to tie it up and not go ahead and win it. The game will end in a seven inning draw, but we're a long way from that. As Noah Altman stands in with two outs and a man on first. New pitcher on the mound for the Aces. And we'll see what happens. Oh, he has a little curve on. He gets by the gap at first base and the runner's on his way to third. Probably not the outcome. The Aces won it on the first at bat. Altman keeps the rally alive. There isn't a rally until they score. But moves the runner to third on a single. Duke, Duke, Dukas. Ducky Dukey is in and ready to stand in the batter box with men on the corners and two outs. They're going over the signals. Paskoff's giving them out to the pitcher. He threw a bit of a curveball in there on that last pitch, and he was just ready and took it right through the gap at outside the reach of the first baseman. Dukas waiting on the pitch. He looks over at the runner at third base and delivers. Oh, that's a same pitch. That was the same pitch. Oh, my God, they threw him, and they got him out. What was that? That was a silly, silly play right there. I have to tell you, folks, don't agree with that. Don't agree with it at all. Got him on a strike swing, and they sent the guy from third home, and he is out by a mile. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh of a 5-3 game. Ida Crown has some work to do here. That was either a gutsy call or a dangerous call. As we're watching the replay here on TV, oh, the delay. Don't like it. Got to tell you, fans, I'm, I just don't like that call. Although I do understand it if I look statistically. We play money ball here. We play a lot of money ball in Columbus and the numbers would say that we don't know what Dukas would have come through with. But uh, he had a couple strikeouts early. So anyway, anyway, Zwelling's gonna come up to lead us off. Again, he had one out of the yard, first inning. Hit a two run dinger. But we need two runs here for uh, Ida to tie it up and get away with at least a tie. Anything less than two? There is a, a protest looming, but I hope does not come up. This is the bottom of seven. Those of you that have been watching with us for the last couple hours uh, might remember there was a missed home plate by Paskoff in the first inning on a two-run home run by Swelling. It was called out. And Ida, I, I have no idea on what grounds, but they did lodge a protest. Should have come down to a one-run game. But I'm not real sure how that would play out since the official made the rule and we don't have the benefit of any kind of video replay here in the Columbus Baseball Invitational. So we're hoping that doesn't come the case. But just reminding our viewers out there that that did happen back in the first inning when Zwelling had a, what appeared to be a two-run homer 
and an appeal. Uh, they called out Pascal for missing the back. And here comes Pizza Rosenberg. Looks good. Looks good. Well, is there any better pizza than cold pizza? All right, so we're warming up here in the bottom of the seventh. Is that a new pitcher on for Fresh? I can't really tell. He seems to take a lot of pitches. I'll throw in a little bit of a curveball here. Double deucer. Yep, he's been in the game. And Zwelling is ready to go on deck as soon as we get play underway here in the bottom of the seventh. This will be the last inning regardless. Pool play only goes seven innings. And umpire's putting on his lid. Zwelling's getting ready to stand in at the plate. How many viewers we got out there? 19, 19 viewers. Holding strong here on Diamond 2. And Zwelling's in waiting on his first pitch. Pitcher addresses the mound and looks in for the sun. Out of the stretch. Pitch on the way. Just a bit on the outside corner for a strike. I can't see it with my glasses on. I appreciate the offer though. So Zwelling looks at a first strike, called strike. Slinger on the mound. Uh, Zwelling gets ahead of that one. It's a high fly ball, and it's fielded by the first baseman for the first out. So Ida is down to their last two outs. They're down to their last two outs. And Ethan Schulman steps in. I don't know if you're... I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking back through the books here, and that was not the double play ball last inning. Oh my gosh, he came way inside on that one. That one made me move. That one had me backing up. <laughs> Shulman sitting in there, trying to do a little bit of one out bingo. Get some base runners here and see if they can't get something going in the bottom of the seventh here. Pitch on the way, it's a high fly ball. It looks like the right fielder's under it. And he retires it. So that's a fly nine. So we're down to one out. Schwartz is up. That's his. Is that your camera down there? So Schwartz is getting ready to step in. He pitched a fine outing today. They're down to the last out of a two-run ball game. See if they can start something. The pitch is on the way, and he gets a strike swinging. 0-1 on the way to Schwartz. And here it comes. Uh, strike two. He's throwing some heat right now. They're down to what could be their last strike. Schwartz is standing in. Southpaw against the right-hander. And the pitch on the way, outside, ball one. He's taken. One and two, the count. So Schwartz bursting in the on-deck circle, hoping to get another opportunity here. As we're in the bottom of the seventh, and it's five to three, fresh. And he fouls that one off. One and two. Remains the count. And Burston hoping to have a chance at something. But first things first, and Schwartz needs to reach base to keep this inning alive and the game alive. Pitches on the way. Off swing, he fouls it off again. He's fighting. He continues to fight here. Ida 
Crown Aces are there. Schwartz is back into the batter's box. Pitches on the way, looking for a curveball. It's high and outside for a ball. Takes it even, two and two the count. His team is cheering him on, hoping, hoping that he can extend the inning. And the pitch on the way, oh, he's high and he gets him out swinging. And that will do it here in the bottom of the seventh and a fine ball game between Ida Crown and Frisch. And Ida Crown goes down five to three. A thrilling ball game here out of Columbus on Diamond Two. And that will do it for today. We will be back here tomorrow with more live action from the 10th Annual Columbus Baseball Invitational. And we're going to be signing off. What do you got on the screen there? Anything? Not sure who will be playing on this field tomorrow, but... That would, no. Who won? Who won? The white, the white shirts won. Oh, yeah, I've got the guys back. Oh, we're done. I don't know what we're doing with this stuff. It was getting dark there for a minute. Can you throw this stuff away, please? Throw this away. Josh. Oh, yeah. Take this too, will you? What? Take that too, will you? taking this stuff besides not me. What? What? Well, I could have been a little bit more tired of it. What? Alright, we're going to take a picture. A picture what? Of everyone that has the stuff in the base. Oh, that you've got? Yeah, I want to see what you do. Where'd she go? I want to see the video. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Miss Rosenberg? She's over there. You should have seen it, son. Rosenberg? I don't know. What are you doing? Second inning, maybe? Yes. Her mom? Do you know some Rosenberg? I was roommates with a Rosenberg back in the 2004. You were going to get the ball? 2004. Engaged to Rosenberg? No, oh, roommates. Oh, roommates with a guy? A guy, yeah. Basketball team. 2004. Oh, that's a long time ago. That would have to be. Miss Rosenberg! Get her. Get her. Oh my god. You guys look, I don't know who you're talking about. Huh? Go, hey, go, go get it. Go get what's your name at the camera, Rosenberg. What's your name? You know what I'm talking about? No idea.